You may be seated. So this month, as a month of harvest, number one, win souls everywhere. You got to win souls everywhere. Be decisive. You're going to win souls everywhere. Talk about Jesus like never before. Number two, set up cells everywhere. Set up cells. Set up cells everywhere. As you're winning souls, set up cells. You lead people to Christ, tell those ones to lead others to Christ and to meet somewhere. Set up sales everywhere. And number three, give into God's work. Now, two things that helps you about in giving into God's work. Because you see, there's a move to impoverish nations. Understand what I'm telling you? There's a move to impoverish nations. And this is the devil's idea. So more and more nations are going to find themselves in financial straits. It's well orchestrated. But God's people have a way out. Giving is the way. Giving is the way. Giving into God's work. So I said two things happened for you on that. Number one, in giving into God's work, you are furthering God's work. So that is in furtherance of God's work. Number two, it turns out for your prosperity. And so the systems of this world can't hold you back. Can't hold you back. It's just God's way. It's God's plan. That's the way it works. You give into God's work. The more you give into God's work, the more you, you ensure your own financial freedom and prosperity. Because then it's God's responsibility to give you a harvest on your giving. And that goes beyond the system of this world. And watch what happens to you in this next few. This is the last quarter of the year, for example. You got just these next four months, September, October, November, and December. See what God will do in your life. But you got to start now. You start now. Start early. Start now. I said two things happen in your giving into God's work. And be specific. Number one, it furthers the work. And number two, it turns out for your prosperity. So it's that in spite of what's happening, God's blessings turn back to you in abundance. It promotes you. That's the way to do it. There's no other way. There's no other way. If there was another way, it would be in the scripture. When you look at from the Old Testament into the New, the teaching of God's word is consistent. Whenever people were in financial straits, when they were in financial difficulties, economic hardships, he prospered them through their giving. It caused them to give. 
Now that's that's interesting because how can you explain it? Here is someone who is in need. And then God tells the person that is in need to give. Well, because those are spiritual principles. What is doing for you is, is taking you from the mentality and consciousness of lack and want into the consciousness of grace. The consciousness of grace. So he turns you from one who is in need to one who is gracious. Rather than looking towards God's grace, you become a gracious person. And that immediately, because if he can change your state of mind, if he can change your consciousness to thinking like him, then you find your prosperity starts flowing like him. Maybe I should read something to you. Second Corinthians chapter 8. Let's go to verse, let's read from verse 16 to verse 7, NIV. Make it simpler for you. So we had started since he had earlier made a beginning to bring also to completion this act of grace, act of grace on your part. Interesting. Read this. But just as you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and in your love for us, see that you also excel in this grace of giving. Did you see that? It tells you to excel in the grace of giving. Giving is a grace. It brings you into a level of thinking that's different. Suddenly you find that a man with very little suddenly by giving has the consciousness of a giver rather than one who is the needy. And the moment God can create that consciousness in your spirit, suddenly things start coming to you. That's why Jesus taught his disciples that it is more blessed to give than to receive. Can you see it? Because you see, the giver has a promise. He has a promise of blessings coming to him. He has a promise of abundance coming to him. The receiver has no promise. So you become a giver. And the next thing you know, more is coming to you. And then you give again and more comes. That's the way you keep lifting yourself you will come out of whatever class you've been this is the way this is the way you start doing it and you start doing it early learn it and start doing it you would find that month after month things are changing in your personal life until you come to the point in your life that it doesn't matter what the economic situation is it can't hold you down you know the secret now. You've passed that level. So learn what I just told you. Is the way. Is the secret. So you follow God's work, God's work, and you get into this consciousness of prosperity. It only happens to you through this grace of giving. I love what he called it. It's a grace grace of giving glory to god see the needy requires someone to be gracious toward him but the giver demonstrates grace see he demonstrates grace which is in the nature of god that's what lifts him from being a needy to a prosperous man or woman Practice what I told you. You will have testimonies. You will have amazing testimonies. Many already do anyway. A whole lot of people do. They've been practicing what I just shared with you. And they have amazing testimonies. You can join. Become 
Make up your mind. You're going to be that way and increase in your capacity. Increase in your capacity. Never stop. Because if you stop, then the economic situation will grow more than you. And if it grows more than you, suddenly you become needy. Things are looking difficult. Things become challenging. And then you say, oh, I don't know. Something's happening to my business. It's going down. So you, now you're looking at the wrong thing. You're beginning to think that your prosperity is from your businesses. No. That's not the way. Your business will prosper through your giving. As you give, your business prospers. That's the way. It says promotion doesn't come from the east or west or south. It comes from God. It comes from God. It comes from God. Hallelujah. So this is your mount of harvest. And you are a part of God's harvest. You're winning souls and you're giving into God's work. This is your, your mount. You're going to demonstrate it. You will demonstrate it. You will win souls and you will give it to God's work. Because God's work is about winning others. It's about winning others. Changing our world. With salvation and righteousness. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. All right. Now I remember.